One thing I know is that art goes hand in hand with history. Art is a way of knowing how the heart speaks, how the mind functions, um, and how it expresses itself to the world. Art is a very valuable way that we know about the human experience. So without, if we really want to tell the story of human history, if we really want to know the facts about life, you have to include art. My name is Taz Elias, and I am the Brand Collaborations Lead in the Brand Studio of the Communications Department at the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, this is a panel discussion with myself, Sherry Antoine, and Inam Bosoka about the Unseen Project, a project that looks to highlight visual knowledge gaps amongst Black, Indigenous, and people of colour. Let me introduce Sherry. Hi, how are you? I'm Sherry Antwine. I'm the executive director of AfroCrowd, an initiative focused on the African diaspora and the Wiki community. Um, I'm also the lead organizer of a user group called Wiki Caribbean. And let me introduce Enam. Hi, um, I'm Enam Busuka, and uh, I am uh, an illustrator and a sculptor from Ghana. Uh, I live and work in Accra, uh, the capital city of, uh, of Ghana. You know, we are all individuals, right? Um, none of us are like, we all have different fingerprints. We all have different spheres of influence. We all come from different places. And that includes people of African descent. And um, now while there are many different kinds of us, just in the three of us, we come from different places. Um, we speak different languages, I, I even, or are around different kinds of folks and different influences. But all of us will likely be represented very similarly in a lot of the media that we see online. Um, and so, um, as a Black woman who also happens to be an immigrant in the country that I live, um, a lot of times uh, there are different ways that. Um, we are represented that aren't necessarily representative of us. And a lot of times we don't get to represent ourselves. Other people make those decisions for us. So um, one of the reasons that I'm so happy to be part of the Wiki community is that we get a chance to, um, to work on improving that, at least in this sphere online. But I know that we're much more complex than the two dimensions that we are often represented as. So visually, especially, um, when that's missing and you're missing in the in the annals of your history, it can have a it actually has a can have a psychological toll. I am from Africa, obviously, and uh, um, I can relate to what Sherry has said in a lot of ways. Uh, in that we are, you know, kind of the same people, except we live in different parts of the world. Um, I think that um, Africa is not that much represented on the um, global or, or on the internet as you put it right um, i there is no denying of the fact that you know much less is known about africa um, globally um, in my line of work i often refer to the internet most of the times um, in search of inspiration and reference images and things like that and uh, I often find out that there is not enough, you know, information about Africans out there. Um, for example, I could be out there just looking for an African woman or an African lady. And uh, on the first few pages, you may find, you know, pictures in the likeness of people from Africa. And then the pages that follow, you tend to find, you know, people that are not Africans. And you start to, you know, wonder how come those are part of, you know, the particular word or phrases that you've keyed in, which you're looking for. And so I think to, you know, um, I can even say that um, Africa even lacks more in terms of what is out there about, you know, the people that are from here or the cultures and 
the things that are happening you know, down here in Africa. means it's a great opportunity to connect with people like you. Um, there are people all over the world doing such amazing things and different projects on Wikimedia. And I don't think, I think in, in the last five or six years, it's been more of an explosion of that. And so that's very exciting. And there's also been a push for greater representation. As you know, uh, historically speaking, uh, Wikimedia, uh, sorry, Wikipedia, which Wikimedia helps to run is 20 years old. And, um, and for most of its history has been written mostly by Western uh, Caucasian men. And um, I think it was like, for a while there was either, it was above 80%, I think it was close to more than that. And over time, because of efforts to uh, improve numbers like that with greater representation, for example, of more women, people of color and so forth, women, for example, is it's now, I, I think it was before uh, the number of women represented on Wikipedia, I think was in the teens. And now I think we've reached about 20%, which isn't perfect, but it's better than before. I understand you guys, Wikimedia, Wikipedia, you guys deal with um, information and putting knowledge out there so that it can be accessible to you know, the whole world. Whilst you have done your research and I've come out with the necessary information, um, I, I think that kind of helps illustrate those, um, your points or your whatever, uh, research you've come out with uh, in a way that it helps people, um, you know, uh, people are able to, you know, um, relate to the stories that you make. Um, people um, are able to, yes, like I said, people are able to re relate to the stories even more uh, through art. Um, I mean, there is no doubt art itself um, in a form of uh, has served in a form of records um, in history books. And so I think um, that's going hand in hand with history uh, makes it important for an artist to be, you know, part of uh, a project such as this one. So, yeah, um, so I'm happy. Um, I'm happy that I can also contribute, um, you know, my bit to, the bigger, you know, goal or the bigger picture that is being created by uh, Wikimedia. Before there was language that was written, there was artistic expression. I'm a violinist and uh, music for me is the art, the, one of the arts that I love. And I love that on Wikimedia, we can even add things like that. Art is a way of knowing how the heart speaks, how the mind functions, um, and in how it expresses itself to the world. Art is a very valuable way that we know about the human experience. So without, if we really want to tell the story of human history, if we really want to know the facts about life, you have to include art. And so that's a very important part of what we're doing here on, uh, in this project, to tell the story of, of the Black experience uh, the, of people of African descent all over the world, but also in general, when we're um, doing anything related to data, I think it's important to consider that poor, very important portion of our, our full, full, full human understanding. I am very excited, I have to say. Um, even though we are just at the beginning of the project avenue to get to know a lot more people from like you, like Sherry, and I guess there are a lot more that I am here to meet. We're using data, we're turning that data into a representation that the world can see, yeah. right? But what's so great is that, number one, they get to be seen because that's the whole point, right? These people are missing from the annals of our digital history, which is by and large becoming our history, period. That's where people go to learn about the, the world around them in many ways about themselves. But what's wonderful is that these different artists are bringing their expression and we're translating it into what we see in front of us. And imagine all the ways that other people will be able to do the same thing. So in some way, 
what they're creating is um, a reflection, not only of the where they're coming from, which is always going to be that way, because that's just human nature. But it also is good. It's almost like looking at in a mirror at ourselves, for those of us, especially of African descent, but just people in the world, to be able to see this expression and say, okay, this is who this person is. And now they're going to take what they, their own understanding and perspective, and then that becomes a lot more personal to them because of that. I think most importantly, it has to do with the fact that they are involved with education. Um, that is why I am that much attracted to them. I feel um, education has a, you know, a huge role to play as far as you know, um, taking us um, to the next level is concerned. I hope that this is not the end of the project, that these, uh, this is just the beginning, um, that there's more people who will be interested in continuing on the project and getting more faces that are not included to be included. I hope this project continues because um, there's just so many more possibilities. We want to include people from different backgrounds. It goes a long way to solve, you know, the problem, which is, you know, uh, the black community or Africans and diaspora not being, uh, you know, represented uh, enough online. And so at the end of, you know, the project, yeah, maybe it doesn't end, maybe it just goes on and goes into, you know, different forms. Um, I guess it's going to provide, you know, a good enough information online and that is accessible to those who might be interested in it uh, for, you know, academic consumption, consumption or people that might just be interested in, you know, knowing about certain things that are related to the people from Africa and then the, the diaspora. Please tell us a bit more about Afro Crowds. Can you describe Afro Crowds mission in one sentence and then tell us a bit more about Afro Crowd in general? Afro Crowds uh, mission is to essentially um, highlight and involve the African diaspora on Wikipedia. Um, so our mission is uh, we, we're, fo we're focused on the African diaspora um, and uh, we are focused on not only engagement with the African diaspora, but also inclusion of it, right? So it's both front end and back end. So who's telling your story? Who's helping to write your history um, as a person of African descent? And, and it's also to ensure that you can be a part of that as well in this, in this particular way um, in the Wiki community. We um, want to encourage people um, regardless of whether you join us or some of the other groups online, um, regardless of your background, actually, because we're open to anyone and everyone who's interested in participating with us uh, of any background. What we also want to do is when you join Wikipedia as an editor, that you know that there is a supportive community there waiting to welcome you and also um, through whom you can ask questions, you can try things out. And, and if we don't have the answer, we are, have a large community that we're connected to who can help you get the answer.